Good morning, BookTube and AuthorTube. It's Brecky from Brecky Writes, and this is my Tome Topple Round 11 TBR. Now, I participated in Round 10, and I failed miserably, <laughs> um, and so I'm trying to redeem myself in Round 11. I am coming off a high from the Magical Readathon, where I did really well. I met all of my prompt goals plus one, so now I'm hoping to redeem myself with Tome Topple and get one and a half books read. Yes, you heard that right, one and a half books read, and I'm going to show you the two books that I'm trying to accomplish for the <laughs> Tome Topple this Round. A tome topple round 11 will be going from May 9th to May 22nd. And of course, I'll make sure that you have the announcement video from Sam from Thoughts on Tomes linked down below so you have all of her information. But it's going to include nine prompts. Now, I had nine prompts last time. It was sort of like a bingo card, and you can count a single book for two prompts, right? One book can be up to two prompts. They are the tome that's been on your TBR the longest, a tome that's an audiobook, a tome that's a part of a series a standalone tome, a just one tome, that's sort of your bingo square free card, a tome featuring an AAPI or Asian American Pacific Islander main character or written by an AAPI Asian American Pacific Islander author. Tome from a genre you don't usually read, a tome from your TBR with the most pages, and an adult tome. Those are the nine prompts. If you get one to three of those, you are a student. If you get four to six of those, four to seven of those, you are a scholar. And then if you get seven or more, you are a sage, which is pretty exciting. I am trying to just be a student. Let's be real. It'd be great if I could be a scholar, but I'm not going to be reading more than three books that are over 500 pages in the month of May totally and not during the two weeks of Tome Topple because y'all, I have a boatload of children and I'm trying to write a whip. I've got a new project. So balancing all that out, here are the two books that I do plan on reading. The first one might not come as a surprise and that is Strange the effing dreamer by Lanny Taylor. You guys, I want to finish this. I am about halfway, just shy of halfway. This was my TBR Tome Topple choice for the last round of Tome Topple, which I think was in February or March, and I only got halfway. So I figure in honor of the fact that this was supposed to be a Tome Topple read, I will continue to finish it. Uh, I have enjoyed this. This is a beautiful story about a boy named Laszlo Strange who, as a small child, was told the stories of a land called Weep. Only Weep isn't its original name. The true name of the city was stolen in a big magical catastrophe. And now the city lives under the shadow of a thing, which I'm not going to say because it'll be spoilers, and they've emerged after centuries without any um, like contact to seek the wisdom of people beyond their magical city. I love the writing. Lane Taylor's writing is the most hypnotic, beautiful writing. I mean, it, you immediately know that you're reading Lane Taylor whenever you open her up. The problem is the pacing in this is terrible. So I am hoping that now that we're halfway through the book, now that we've arrived in the city, Things are going to really pick up. This is a gorgeous. I do want to read it. I have Muse of Nightmares. Muse of Nightmares is hanging out in the wings for when I finish this one. I do want to finish the duology. I just have not had any desire to come back to this. So for Tome Topple, I'm going to return. I'm going to finish this book, which I started in the last Tome Topple. I feel like, you know, you start half of it in one Tome Topple, read the other half in the other. Is it truly uh, reading 500 pages in one go? No. But... I'm going to, if I can finish it, count it as a win because I will have read the whole thing during a tome topple, right? It's just two tome topples. It's fine. Stranger Dreamer will also only qualify for one of the prompts. I guess two. It's a tome, right? So if I read it, I will have read one 500 page tome, but also it is a book in a series. So those are the only prompts that it fulfills. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. The second book and the only other book that I am going to attempt during Tome Topple is one that I've wanted to read. And I actually read the first chapter of the prologue, loved it, and then set it aside. I, I don't know. I've been thinking about that prologue since I read it. I just set it aside for, I think, life reasons probably. And that is Angel Mage by Garth Nix. This came out, I believe, last year. And this is Garth Nix's first 
adult novel. Now he has primarily written YA and middle grade, but this is an adult novel and I am super excited. This would count for the prompt of being an adult novel and a standalone, so it would count for those two. This is the story, I think her name is Elena, and she falls in love with an angel and somehow she steals the magic and everything goes to heck in a handbasket is sort of what I picked up from it. Um, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous book and I love Garth Nix. The Sabriel, the original Sabriel trilogy is among my very favorites, probably my very favorite fantasy series of all time, hands down. And if you're looking for a good audiobook, Tim Curry reads the Sabriel books. It's glorious. I've heard good things about this and I'm really excited to see where he goes with a standalone adult novel. He has a new adult novel coming out in the fall called The Left-Handed Booksellers of London and Victoria Schwab has a copy and has been reading it and like teasing the internet and I'm jealous. And that made me remember how much I wanted to read this one. So this is 536 pages, at least my copy is 536 pages. So if I can finish The Strange Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, then I plan on reading Angel Mage by Garth Nix during Tome Topple. And so therefore I'll be reading a true tome, like start to finish in the two weeks. We'll see how that how that goes. So these are the two books that I am attempting to read for Tome Topple round 11. Comment down below and let me know are you going to be participating in round 11 and what tomes are you going to be reading? What is the tome you're most excited about? I am excited to finish Strange a Dreamer but I'm most excited to finally pick up Angel Mage. I've been meaning to for months so I'm happy to get this off my shelf, get it read, and to enjoy Another World by Garth Nix. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm posting two to three times a week, and I will be seeing all of you very soon. Bye!